Hello everyone, welcome back to the Highly Sensitive Healer YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. As always, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like, share this video, and turn on those notification bells. So with all that being said, I wanted to jump in today's video, which is going to be about how you can empower yourself and three ways to do so when it comes to narcissistic abuse or CPTSD. So jumping right into it, self-empowerment in this case if you are faced or being faced with narcissistic abuse is, in my opinion, one of the most important things that you're going to have to do pretty much right away. And it's something that I started with working on because I, I, I didn't even know myself at the time. And I, I had lost a lot of power and control of my own life and was just constantly reacting to everything and that everyone was doing and saying. And, and it just was a mess. I wasn't feeling my emotions at all. I, you know, I wasn't going to therapy. I didn't, I, I didn't have a professional group helping me. Um, I, I wasn't friends with the right people, um, a whole bunch of different things. And my self-esteem was way low. So number one for empowering yourself is an obvious one, which is healing yourself. Start healing yourself. And I'm talking about mentally and emotionally more than anything. Okay. Finding a therapist or some type of other professional is a is a huge recommendation of mine. It's something that I did and have still and still do. Uh, finding a psychiatrist, finding it, whatever you need, psychologist, um, uh, a life coach. I found a life coach. I found therapy, and I have a psychiatrist now. These are all things that you're going to want to do to in order to help you heal yourself. Um, and I, I can't stress how important that really is. And you're going to have to do that inner work. So that inner healing, you're feeling your emotions, learn how to feel your emotions again, because being with a narcissist and, or around a narcissist, you, you tend to lose all that or you never had it to start off with. And once you feel those emotions, learn where those emotions are coming from and what would you like to feel instead of those emotions, if so. Also, improve your self-esteem. Get to know yourself as well. Get to know what your core beliefs and values are. What personality type are you? Where are your strengths and weaknesses? Um... All of that kind of stuff. Just get to know you more and more in touch with who you are. And also, part of that I would say is like building self-confidence as well and having self-respect for yourself. Number two is to, it's kind of a combination, listen to your body and remain calm. Now, listening to your body basically means, well, they, they kind of go hand in hand. Because when you can listen to your body, if you're feeling a lot of anxiety, which a lot of us do, especially if we're around that narcissistic person or a, a group of people maybe that we don't really know too well, we have social anxiety because of that narcissistic abuse and we suffer from CPTSD. Learn to listen to your body, what it needs the most physically, mentally, and emotionally. And the way you can do that is by practicing techniques such as meditation, mindfulness, uh, I use balancing stones myself. If you want to go and try that, go out in nature, be in nature in general. Uh, that tends to be able to allow you, at least for me, to, it gives me a sense of inner calm and, and, and inner peace. And I'm able to listen to my body a lot more. Um, and also practice deep breathing. So as I'm balancing stones, I am breathing and doing not so much deep breathing all the time, but when I need it most, I, I, I practice deep breathing uh, techniques and exercises that I learned in my life coaching class. And that might be something for you to look into. And, and uh, because breathing helps. It, anytime you're, you're being faced with something and your anxiety is real high, your stress levels are high, and you can just feel maybe your blood pressure is going way up because of that narcissistic person or just because of another situation, remember to breathe. Deep breaths in and then out it helps trust me and then number three is find ways to disengage from the narcissist now granted these are only three different ways okay and these are three ways that have worked for me personally in my own healing journey they're not tell all some may work for some and some of them may not work for you everyone's different so keep that in mind Finding ways to disengage. You can let the, that narcissist person, that narcissistic person, know, "Hey, I have somewhere else to be right now. 
Um, I'm sorry I can't really talk right now or I can't really interact or whatever have you if you don't want to if you don't want to engage with them at the moment. Let them know uh, that now isn't a good time and that maybe you can set up a later time in order so that you can prepare yourself more emotionally, mentally, for or and physically for whatever you need to talk about or whatever they were going to say. Um, maybe just agree with them. You could also just agree with them, nod your head or acknowledge yes, 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 and agree with them just to get away from that situation. That's your choice. And to simply just walk away. I mean, that's easier said than done, but because they're going to, you know, most likely they're going to be trying to egg you on and maybe even manipulating you and gaslighting you and, and, you know, lying to you and making things up and, you know, doing a smear campaign on you, all these mean things, but it's important for you to remain calm. It's important for you to listen to your body and it's important for you to be able to disengage with that narcissist if and when you're going to have to do so. Um, and remember Going back to number one, starting your healing journey today is the most important step. And I can't stress that enough. Again, I hope this video helps everyone. I'm going to end it right there. Again, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Like, share this video. Turn on those notification bells. I'm going to leave you guys with what I always leave you with. And that is, of course, be kind to others. But most of all, be kind to yourselves. It's known as self-compassion. Take care, everybody.